Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. Let's go ahead and check out the results from our last race and see how the standings look. So we did not have a great run at Richmond, but compared to how we ran last year, where the truck was off the ground, <laughs> I'd say we did pretty well. And even with that poor finish, we still have the championship lead. I don't know exactly how many races we have left on the season, but season's winding down. So <laughs> as long as we can keep finishing well, finish ahead of you know the other top five in points, I think this is our year. And we're gonna hop into the first race of the episode. Headed out to Texas, and you know we run well in Texas. Go, 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 go! Truck feels good. I think this should be a solid lap. Let's go ahead, finish out, see where we land. All right, let's see where we play. 30.8. That'll start us eight. Right behind Presley, a couple rows in front of Lester. Let's go win Texas. Welcome to Fort Worth and the Texas Motor Speedway. With seating for over 150,000 fans, this motorsports haven represents racing at its finest. Recently repaved, this quad-shaped oval with 24-degree banking has become one of NASCAR's fastest tracks. Let's go run fast. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. Car low. Car low. Not exactly the start we wanted. Uh, I think Brendan slammed on Still the brakes. Carlo. My goodness. What a cluster. Well. Clear low. All clear. Okay. The yellow's out. There's a spin in turn four. That was bound to happen. One thing to pack race at Daytona, but when you pack race here, it's a mess. Pace cars out. All clear. Well, we're going to pit. I don't know if we'll have enough fuel to make it to the end, but does look like there's a couple takers from the front. Should be fun trying to get through traffic. Bucket heads, get me out quick. Oh, that four seconds of repairs might make this uh, a bit slower. All right, let's start last. Ooh. 
we have the fastest lap somehow. <laughs> So a bunch of guys are pitting now under green. Uh okay. We've got 13 laps of fuel. And I think we're coming up on like 14 to go. got plenty of fuel so uh, I would say it is time to hammer down go, and go past some trucks you're all clear car high all clear and let's try not to crash still there all right we're ahead of Lester all clear. Car low. All clear. and Where's Presley? We'll go get him next. All clear. You're all clear. <laughs> Somebody's pitting right now. That's a great lap. Clear low. Wild. All clear. The truck feels great here at Texas. I'm really happy with the setup we've got in it. Stay high. Still there. You're all clear. Ten laps to go. So, 10 to go. Clear low. Oh, I hurt the left front somehow? Interesting. All clear. So it appears Setzer is pretty fast as well. Oh boy. Clear high. We're fine. Everything's fine. All is well. Stay low. Still there. Clear high. Good day. Clear low. All clear. So that has put us up into third place. So I guess Presley must have been in that group that pit under green. I guess. Weird. Now the question is, how long can they run before they got a pit? Because the sooner they pit, the sooner I can start leading laps and uh, possibly get that five bonus points for leading the most. And Setzer is catching us ever so slightly. It would be nice to lead a lap soon, so just in case if he does pass us, at least we will still have led at least one lap. The leader's going into the pit. The four car is headed into the pit. All right. 
so we officially have the lead. Like I said before, Setzer is catching us a bit, so. It'll be interesting to see if he runs it out or if he pits at some point. Well, that answers that question. Hi, Bill. Bye, Bill. The car head is pitted. Not gonna like lap everybody, right? That's not gonna happen. Right? I'll tell you that. Two to go. Car low. You're all clear. All clear. You're low on fuel. There's a wreck in turn one. Last lap. Last lap. Definitely have not run out of fuel just yet, but even if we do, we've got a 26 second lead. I think we'd be able to make it back. Oh, we just, just sputtered. Looks like we're not the only one running out. You're low on fuel. Oh, are we? Are you sure about that? Great job. Let's go. First place. Ran it right out of gas. <laughs> wow, so we lapped fifth. Looks like Lester finished 11th. And Presley is going to be outside the top 20. It's a good day for us. So we tied with Schrader for the most laps led. So max points day for us. Lester, 55 points less than us on the day. It's a good day. And we are $83,000 richer. Love that. No competition for Cant. So that has moved Quapful to second in the points. And looks like we've got an 81 point lead. Love to see that. And after Texas, off to Las Vegas. So I definitely don't love the truck here, but I think we can do all right.
34-4. Don't think that's going to be great. Yeah. So Quaffle will qualify third. Let's uh, hope he doesn't bridge that gap to us. <laughs> And we have no Alan. <laughs> Let's go try and pass some trucks. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. Still there. truck was turning and then the truck was not turning. Still there. Ooh. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Car high. Ooh, I hit the brakes and don't Thank no guy hit a the brakes enough. The out. <sighs> Pace cars out. I guess we pit and try and make it a fuel mileage race. for the best. <laughs> so it looks like just about everybody is going to pit and try and make it on fuel. Yeah, I think I think that's everybody. Let's see if the bucket heads can uh, keep us in the top 10. Come on, bucket heads. Make me proud. Looks like we definitely lost some spots, but I think we'll be all right if it lets us get out, that is. Oh yeah, we lost some spots. <laughs> get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. So we've got 13 laps to go, plenty of fuel, there's definitely some torn up trucks up here, so we should be able to make some passes and get All back clear. towards the top 10. This is definitely not All one clear. of our stronger tracks, but I think we can make it happen. Clear high. Thank you for Still not there. blocking and wrecking us Clear both, high. Bill. That was really, really nice of you. That was a great lap. So we have made it back to the top 10.
don't know if we're going to have the speed to really compete with the guys up in the top five, but we can leave here with a top ten. I'll be pretty happy. Also, I do apologize if I'm uh, not talking a lot, not very, uh, not very seeming like I'm interested. Um, my computer crashed while I was recording this initially, so um, did a lot of troubleshooting to try and figure out what the issue was. Um, it's recorded fine this time through. I hope I don't have an issue again during this recording. <laughs> um, but yeah, I lost the progress on this race as well as Texas, so I had to run them again. And it didn't save any of the uh, changes I had made to the trucks, so then I had to to practice all over again so I'm like two and a half hours into recording this video and I'm assuming this video is gonna be 40 minutes or shorter so <laughs> apologies if I'm boring I'm just it's deja vu <laughs> I've already run this race today did crafting just blow up I think Crafton just blew up. Yeah, yeah baby. Headed into the pit. That's a spot. Let's go. Five laps to go. Just ran our best lap of the day. Still a couple tenths off of our best ever. The car head is pitting. Brendan, why are you pitting? What in the world? Man, the logic in this game sometimes. It just baffles me. So just three laps to go. Still pretty far behind sixth place. There's Brennan gone. No idea why he pit, but whatever. It'll be interesting to see if anyone else pits. Stay low. Still there. You're all clear. Doesn't look like anyone's pitting this lap, so. Oh, somebody's in there. 
So did the guys like splash and go and just not get enough fuel to finish or something? Very strange. Car high. You're all clear. I don't see... Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone else is going through pit lane, so... Last lap. Looks like we might finish sixth on the day. Car high. Clear high. You're all clear. Well, that's another top 10. Another solid points it's day. Fuel. Top 10, can't complain about that. Awesome. The Quapful won, so he is going to cut into our lead a little bit, but I think we did all right on points today. He did gain 30 on us today, so we'll see uh, what the gap is. And we made $8,000. I wonder how many headlines they have that they just cycle through. Because what a race pops up all the time. <laughs> okay, so 51 points on Quapful, it looks like. And then 100 on Presley. So. Feel good. And that brings us to the end of October. Final race for this episode. California. And just this race and two to go. We're still sitting first in the points. It's a good feeling. 41 1. Go, 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 go! Our best lap ever is still 5 tenths off the pole. It's crazy how fast some of these guys go. But then normally their race pace isn't even that fast, so. I don't know, man. Definitely a little squirrely getting into the corner. That probably won't help our lap time. It's entered a little too high, didn't turn in quick enough. Let's see what kind of lap we put down. Alright, let's see where we put 41 9. Not our best showing. Seventh. We're a row in front of Quapful. That's nice at least. <laughs> let's go win California. Welcome to sunny California and the California Speedway. It's going to be perfect weather for racing today. The California Speedway is located just east of Los Angeles on the site of an old steel mill. The wide two mile long D shaped oval provides both driver and spectator with a great view of the largest attended sporting event in the state. I think we have the truck to do it. Get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag, car high. Car high. So I think this is one that we usually just don't pit and Car high. like run out at the line. <laughs> so I 
I think we should have a good chance here as long as we stay out of trouble, keep our nose clean, and uh, don't have any cautions. Still there. You're all clear. It says 10 laps of fuel. Still there. Got 11 all laps clear. to go. Still there. Still there. All clear. Car high. Okay. Ten laps to go. So as it sits right now, we would hit the white flag as it hits zero laps of fuel remaining. That's if we don't save any more fuel. So I think we can, especially if we can keep behind some guys, stay in the draft. We're not going to lead many laps, but... Well, that is loose. Car high. Yeah, we're not going to lead until everybody pits, but we are able to save some fuel. Still there. Clear high. Just running in the wake from the guys in front. I've been using a little bit more fuel than I want the last couple laps, just trying to stay with these guys. See, I can lift big on the back stretch. And then that happens and I lose a ton of ground. I couldn't tell who that was, but it looked like somebody was in the pits. I would have to assume, you know, something uh, going to keep them out of the race if they're in the pits this early. I think instead of trying to stay with them, we're just going to let the 90 pass and then uh, try and stay in his draft. Well, I could have done that a little better. <laughs> I've got some draft help at the moment. Five laps to go.
It's so difficult staying behind someone on a straightaway. You have to keep turning right to stay straight. The car head is pitting. But if you turn too hard, then you go to the right. Okay, we have officially led a lap. And a big lift there. We pull from these nice gentlemen. This is either going to be a brilliant idea or a really bad one. We do have 23 seconds on Presley and Lester, so I guess the only positive is, even if we're coasting for a while, we should still, in theory, have a pretty good buffer. say you're low on fuel I don't think we've sputtered yet we're gonna do it what happened to Presley Great job. hmm Interesting. I wasn't paying attention to the leaderboard that lap, but uh Not good for him, I guess And there we have the points on the day max points for us Waffle finished 12th, so we gained 58 points on him. I believe not a bad day and that win in California gives us $125,000. Super stoked to see that. And an extends lead. So yeah, we've got a 109 point lead on Quapple. Love to see that. There's the season standings. So Lester is only five points back of Quapple. Presley's another 63 behind him. So we've got yeah, 177 points on Presley. You get 55 for last place, so 130 is the most you can make up in one race. So, depending on how the next race goes, we might lock it up a race early. But, honestly, until I see, hey, you're a champion, <laughs> I'm probably not going to believe it. So that is going to do it for another episode. We are now over $1 million in available funds. So 
I think that should help us when we move up to the Cup Series. Hopefully next year. <laughs> Um, but that should help us be able to get an upgrade, you know, right off the bat, which I think will be a big help for our program. But I just want to say thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. And uh, hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.